Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I wanted to give you an update about Ifinity. Ifinity is a solution where we can connect three or more monitors to a single graphics card and get a huge work area either for playing games or for productivity applications. Those who have followed Ifinity will understand that to connect the extra screens have in the past required a DisplayPort monitor and that's still the case for more than three monitors. But Sapphire has a solution which we call Flex which allows three DVI monitors to be connected directly to the card and that's the card we're using today. The Sapphire Flex family is unique in that it allows you to connect three DVI monitors in Ifinity directly to the card. The first two monitors are connected to the DVI connectors on the bracket. The third one is connected by a simple passive adapter to the HDMI outlet on the card. So we can directly connect three DVI monitors and set up Ifinity. Since we first introduced Ifinity, there have been quite a few changes to the drivers and to the user interface, which is now called the AMD Vision Control Center. So what I'm going to do is just open up the menus and set up Ifinity on this three monitor system we have today. First I have to click on the desktop and open up the engine control center and I need to go to the desktop management section and open up creating and arranging desktops. And here you can see that it's already detected that we have three displays connected but they're all showing the same information. So now if I hover on the centre of this panel and click on display group and create group it asks me if I want to set up an orientation with three stack displays or three horizontal displays. So I'm going to accept three horizontal displays. So that operation has created an affinity group for me but you can probably see that the displays are actually arranged in the wrong order. So we have a simple method for rearranging them. Uh, it says here, is the display arrangement correct? Well, no it's not. I need to move my mouse across onto that screen and say no. And it will invite me now to click on the icon of the screen which is displayed blue. And again. And that rearranges the displays into the correct order. So now we can see that we've got the menu system starting from the left hand side and a taskbar running right across the bottom of the screen so we have got an Ifinity screen now and the total resolution of that screen will be the sum of the resolutions of our three monitors. Another feature of Ifinity is the ability to do something called bezel correction. If you're using the multi-screen for an information system you want to see all the information on the screens but if you're playing a game you want the image to look like a continuous image right across the area uh, not really broken by the edges of the monitors. We can apply bezel correction by opening up another sub-menu in the display group area add bezel correction and it brings up this special icon which allows me to adjust the shape of this triangle to make up for the width of the edges of the particular monitors I'm using. So I can do a bit of adjustment here to the image position until I'm satisfied that the edge of the image is continuous behind the effective bar of the edges of the two monitors. And then I accept that. So when we've made those changes, we just click on apply, close down the control center and everything we've changed will be saved. So here's a clip from the latest Dirt 3 racing game just to show how effective it looks across three screens with the Ifinity set up correctly. So as you can see, Ifinity is really easy to set up now and it's not expensive because you can use three standard DVI monitors so everybody can enjoy widescreen entertainment. I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology. Thank you for watching.